Captain, Captain's uh, mobile Wi Fi. LT, Lieutenant Shar, do we have the. Oh, that's all. Awesome. Do we have a. Uh, oh, where's. Where's the uh, Lieutenant. Uh, hold on here. Yeah. I gotta see if we can get that mobile high hotspot. Hotspot? Yeah, the one that we had over here is a mobile hotspot. Oh, that's right. Okay. I forgot. I forgot they um they went they went to um um no need. We'll just go like this. I gotta just be um let's see, is it blurry? Try aiming it. Oh it's not that bad. Okay. So you're just gonna use mine. Okay. So you gonna stand on here Okay. I'm gonna have you hold mine. Oh so you want me to it now? Yeah, no no keep it going. So we can get the guys. Okay. So it's not showing anybody. Maybe maybe that's because. Okay. Maybe they fooled me. Let me at least show the Hawaiian flag while we get ready. Hey guys. Oh, sorry, we're going on in two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. All right. Two minute warning, everybody. Two minute warning. 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 So right now we're about to go live. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna deliver a memorandum of error and truth in fact by occupied forces Hawaiian. So they're lining up the troops right now because we're gonna have this. Um, they're documenting all this stuff. I heard it's going viral. Don't really understand it, but it sounds like it's good. So right now they're working out the court. Get them in for the broadcast. We're gonna. Stay tuned for this one. How many uh, viewers would that be? Not yet. Not, Not yet? yet? Okay, then they're probably... Um, they're probably... Oh, you know what, then? We're going to have to get you guys to film on yours. Yeah, he's so going to... Kalei is going to do mine. <coughs> okay, so that we can have all the phone uh, Facebook's going, because yeah, we're already messing with mine. Yeah. Or am I live? Can you guys see mine? Yeah, right I saw you. Yeah, yeah, I can cut you in and out. Okay, so what we do is we'll use that. Kale, you have yours on? Okay. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Um, and we have another one right there? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Well, you don't have another one. Oh, for whatever. Yeah, you can record it. All right. Time check. It's time. Okay, bring them to attention. Wait, uh, Jimmy, where are you looking? Oh my goodness. It's been a long few days, guys. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, inhabitants in Hawaii. This is a military broadcast for information regarding your status and the country's status uh, through a memorandum of error and truth in fact by Occupied Forces Hawaii Army, military government and judge advocate general.
regarding memorandum of error and truth necessitated by the state of Hawaii status as an illegitimate insurgency and to establish a declaring statement by the Occupied Forces Hawaii Army regarding the current state of war in this country. In truth, we the people in Hawaii are under martial law and in a state of war. The following memorandum of error and truth states the errors in fact upheld through the facade created by the state of Hawaii and abroad, creating a mental state of anxiety and chaos in the population and in, ex I'm sorry, I apologize, in the population and an extended state of limbo for the lawful continuance of the Kingdom of Hawaii's government in the country of Hawaii. The people in Hawaii have been made to choose between a forced, convenient, false history this citizen benefits over a truthful, evidenced, and factual one, where the people voluntarily bound their place in the country and the soul to Hawaii under EO, God. Send science by which to end the current state of war in said country and means by which to ensure an ushering in of a time of peace. It is therefore necessary to continue through the juice postbellum phase to reach a peace treaty, engage in military tribunals and other phases to end the state of war and rebuild the country of Hawaii. Correction through post ad bellum. For, as defined through international humanitarian law, the restoration of rights by virtue to all Hawaiians that were taken by the enemy during the state of war and returned to the people when coming once again under the power of the country of Hawaii. These are the errors, in fact establishing factual evidentiary truth. Founded front and center in truth, ono, and aloha. The errors in fact are stated and followed with evidence and truth declaring the actuality of our and how we place ourselves again within community, nation, and world. The errors in fact addressed here out of necessity are that the state of Hawaii is part of the United States, nor Hawaiian. The state of Hawaii is therefore stateless is therefore stateless, having not been founded on any constitutional authority, being that the state of Hawaii is neither de facto nor de jure. It is declared that all residents, businesses, and the government are stateless and not part of the United States of America or Hawaii. Instead, the state of Hawaii is a continuation of an insurgency, the provisional It is believed that the Queen, Liliuokalani, abdicated the throne. Negative. Queen Liliuokalani did not abdicate the throne to the constitutional of the constitutional Hawaiians. A surname which holds no meaning to her. Any previous document or Queen Liliuokalani was was born as Lydia Liliuokalani Loloku. Walania Vehi Vehi Kamakaeha. Please forgive me if I mispronounced some of those Kanaka names. Hawaii's story by Hawaii's queen. To bring into and apply at this time of Huli Kio. Also, The American president, Cleveland, declared Queen Liliuokalani to be reinstated, returned to the throne and the Kingdom of Hawaii as 
government to be restored. Therefore, the Hawaiian throne has never been abdicated, and anything relative to the falsity of abdication is null and void, and the rule of post liminium applies in this Hawaiian war zone, and all rights are restored to Hawaiians through post liminium. It is believed, I apologize, stand by. It is believed that Hawaii is in a state of peace. False. Hawaii is not in a state of peace. Committed against the constitutional Hawaiian monarchy, its queen and her people. Hard physical evidence from the War Department in Hawaii, not the Department of Defense, shows that we are in a state of war and technically in a war zone. The Occupied Forces Hawaii Army, Hawaii's lawful, non-combatant military, holds a declaration of the state of war signed on January 17, 2021 by both commanding officers of Occupied Forces Hawaii Army and an officer from the United States Navy Special Warfare Division. Therefore, Hawaii, after is not in a state of peace. It is also believed that all Kanakamau Oli are native Hawaiian. Negative. This is false. Native Hawaiian provided by agencies tied to these services, including but not limited to Aluliki, Office of Hawaiian Affairs, Department of Hawaiian Homelands. Therefore, Kanakamauli, contracted and signed as Native Hawaiians, are American. However, because not all Kanakamauli have contracted to qualify for the American benefit provided by the classification of Native Hawaiian, not all Kanakamauli are Native Hawaiians, and not all Kanakamauli are American. Furthermore, any Kanakamauli who has not qualified as a Native Hawaiian or apply to contract under, for example, the Hawaiian Homelands Act and has not gone through the process of repatriation with Occupied Forces Hawaiian Army to secure his or her contract or country lists and without an assigned political national status. It is believed that a native Hawaiian is Hawaiian. False. The term Native Hawaiian is a classification of an American citizen and is not a Hawaiian. Hawaiian is a specific political national status held by a Hawaiian subject to the country of Hawaii. In order for a Native Hawaiian to be Hawaiian, he or she would have to go through the lawful scientific process of repatriation and expatriation. This is negative and false. There is no constitutional authority that the state of Hawaii is foundationed upon. The joint resolution with, which founded the state of Hawaii holds no power of constitutional authority to evolve the state of Hawaii into lawful existence. The state of Hawaii instead is designated by both Hawaii and America as an insurgency, descended from the provisional government and is therefore stateless and countryless. It is believed that the country of Hawaii was illegally overthrown. This is false. The country of Hawaii was lawfully yielded by Queen Liliuokalani under Article 37 of the Hawaiian Constitution on January 24. Yields her authority. This may be a mystery. The United States of America, through President Grover Cleveland, in his message to Congress, returned the country of Hawaii to its queen and people on December 18th of 1893. It is also believed that the United States of America still has to return the country of Hawaii. This is false. The United States returned Hawaii and subjects on December 18, 1893. Please apologize. Uh, 
excuse me, but the wind is blowing in. All these people. Kingdom of Hawaii does not exist in a state of war. The Queen of Hawaii suspended the kingdom by yielding her authority to the Americans. January 17th, 1893. The country of Hawaii exists naturally in the Magna Carta, but not the Hawaiian kingdom itself as a government order, uh, government under martial law. Martial law is in operation as a government. I really apologize for this. Hold on now. I'm trying to hold it like this. Continue. It is also believed that the American Constitution's Second Amendment a right, Second Amendment right is to be recognized in the country of Hawaii. Negative. Because we're in a war zone, the Second Amendment state of war in a war zone are to be turned into the police department and or will be confiscated by occupied forces Hawaii. However, however, this is very important, all repatriated Hawaiians and loyal subjects to the country of Hawaii are allowed to maintain their firearms in this state of war. These details are critical and um, please don't be alarmed, we're trying to work out the process so that those who are in allegiance with the country can um, firearms, you know. They're already registered with the police departments. Um, we're gonna try and make sure that they're registered within the country so we know which belligerent has firearms. of the United States of America because Congress cannot reach beyond the borders of the United States. A joint resolution only reaches within the borders of the American Congress. It is also believed that property and land in Hawaii can be transferred during the period between January 16 and 1893 and the present day. Let me say that again. It is believed that land and property can be transferred during the period between January 16 and 18 transferred when two countries are not in a state of war and are in a state of peace or after a war and a treaty of peace is signed. Land can only be transferred by, con by conquest after a treaty of peace. It is also believed that there is a legitimate Bureau of Conveyance. Negative. And since its suspension on January 17, 1893, the Bureau of Conveyances in Hawaii is not, are not legitimate. Its illegitimacy is based upon the actuality and physical evidence of an existing war zone in Hawaii. Because of martial law existing in the country of Hawaii, all contracts and conveyancing done henceforth are also illegitimate, null and void in the country of Hawaii, force majeure. That all contracts are legitimate here in the country of Hawaii. This is believed. This is false. All contracts here in the country of Hawaii are not legitimate because of the war zone and a state of war status in the country. Force evolutions that have gone forth regarding um, during the process that um, OFH has um, our operations Say, let me, this thing is a little bit, they didn't edit, I didn't edit this too good, so let me reread this for a second, I apologize. Okay, now I get the notes. A 
I want to let everybody know that on January 17, 1890, uh, January 17, 2021, that this officer, the commander of Occupied Forces Hawaii, Army, Civil Affairs, Military Government, and Judge General, had signed a declaration of a state of war with Renford Beaumont, Lieutenant Junior Grade, United States Special Warfare Unit. You guys know them as the U.S. SEALs. Engagement of the United States Navy's officer signing that declaration state of war with me. I had to enter the judiciary through military operation. I successfully defeated the state in a criminal case regarding registration uh, of a vessel. And my claim was I am not a subject to the state of Hawaii's jurisdiction in my military status as commander and lawful enemy combatant and designated Hawaiian. In the time that I met with the Navy officer, we discussed that I made it plain that this military is not a militia. This is a regular army under the Constitution of Hawaii. The uniform was adopted. It is this what you see, that we were pono under international humanitarian law and what you know as the laws of war. To qualify as lawful military combatants and if taken into custody would be qualified as prisoners of war. Since signing the declaration of a state of war, we have also found survey pins from the War Department. These survey pins mark the erosion point of where land meets shore. This is known as Kahakai. During military operations, Occupied Forces Hawaii and that vessel was part of that military operation. During that hearing that was requested from this commander as the commander of Occupied Forces Hawaii, in that hearing, the state of Hawaii had submitted as, or should I say exhibits, had submitted the, the United Nations document and memorandum to the judiciary of the state of Hawaii. You guys know it as the Ruth Bella Bolome Memorandum or the UN exhibit in a case that OFH Army had requested for. Under oath, the state of Hawaii's Division of Ocean and Boating Recreation of Land and Natural Resources, Mr. Edward Underwood, under oath, had stated that he did not know that, uh, excuse me, that the memorandum was included in the file for the exhibits in that case. Here to Honolulu and used at that hearing. The state of Hawaii can no longer deny that particular memorandum, which declares by the UN that Hawaii is in a strange form of occupation. This is a declaration of a state of war in Hawaii by this commander of Occupied Forces Hawaii Army. This declaration is a formal and the process by which Occupied Forces Hawaii Army is to assist in reaching a peace treaty, lifting martial law, reinstating the operation of the kingdom's government and rebuilding of said government as well as local and international affairs which includes all infrastructure 
necessary to rebuild the nation and its subjects. In this process, the United States Navy controls the American side of the state of war situation, and the Occupied Forces Hawaii Army controls the Hawaiian side of the situation, overseeing the evacuation of the foreign and the Occupied Forces Hawaii Army hereby declare that the region of the Hawaiian Islands is in a state of war and is in a war zone. That there was no abdication of the throne, that the Hawaiian throne still exists today. That Hawaii does not yet have a peace treaty with the United States. That the United States returned the country back to the Queen and the people on December 18, 1893. That the insurgency called the provisional government, now the state of Hawaii, has taken over the government, the Kingdom of Hawaii, and has acted in that authority all this time against the American Constitution. And that as of December 18, 1893, that all rights are afforded to all Hawaiians post the minimum, January 16, 1893. Whereas all rights are returned to all Hawaiians in the present day through this genealogical and lawful reinstatement. American or Hawaiian. That concerning the judiciary, the bar and in question as to the validity of that membership due to its being organized in 1905 by volunteer attorneys outside post Liminium and in a war zone in Hawaii. Therefore, this unlawful organization in the state of Hawaii has no power is to Congress, neither American nor Hawaiian. It is declared that all current citizenry residents need to untether and lawfully reconvert to counter the unlawful conversion that occurred with birth certificates and various other applications and contracts made with the state of Hawaii. All people in Hawaii are required to break away from the state of Hawaii and choose to be either American through a legal or Hawaiian as a specified